Hello everybody and welcome back to Hexit with me, Burgo. Hope you're all doing well, feeling well, and feeling fresh. My oh my, it has been a long time since we've been freaking home. And it is looking gorgeous as per usual. Now, I've been ahead, gone ahead, and made a very, very large change to Azul Grande's monument. I felt it fitting to honor her just a little bit more with the loots from our mighty Twilight Conquest. Man, I hope you guys are doing excellent today. Let's go ahead and take a look at the new monument for Azul Grande. It is looking pretty amazing, if I do say so myself. Okay, so what we have going on here is we have maize stone bricks um, on the outer layer here. And then on the second layer, I went ahead and used the Naga stone that we stole from the Naga courtyard. We have two headstones um, and then a basic base maystone. And then on top we have decorative uh, maystone that looks really, really freaking cool. And Azul Grande is just looking gorgeous today. Oh, how I miss you, my dear blade. Hmm. Anyway, guys, we have lots of stuff to do today. Um, a lot of you guys have been clamoring. Let's go ahead and gear up here. I just have some basic armor that I looted um, from the various Twilight mobs in our like year-long adventure through there. And just in case this Enderman... Oh, of course he's going to decide to come over here. Come here, buddy. Enderman, come over here. Don't make me come over there, mister. Yeah, you put that sand block down. You leave my beach alone, mister. Anyway, guys, let's go ahead and head along here. We'll keep an eye on old nasty man across the river there. A lot of you guys have been clamoring for me to do a lot more stuff with the Thieves' Den. And you know what, guys? I think I am down to do just that. I've went ahead. If you haven't seen Stripe's video, we've put placed all of the boss mobs' heads in the Thieves' Den. So we've got the Hydra head. Um, we've got the Lich's head up here, along with, like, all of our treasures and stuff that we've looted along the way. We had a creeper blow up down here uh, while Strife and I were working. <laughs> and I went ahead and added a few torches just to prevent some extra spawning um, of mobs. Now, you may notice, oh my gosh, a staircase? What could this be? Um... This is the beginning of our thieves training area, ladies and gentlemen. This is where the rookie thieves will come in. They'll practice their looting abilities. We, we basically built this right on top of a mine shaft. And this is essentially the exact same mine shaft um, that we've explored before. It's linked up uh, to the areas beneath uh, Casa del Burgo. So this, I thought, would be a really, really neat idea for a training area. They've got a mine shaft to run through. There's various treasures and whatnot. But one thing I did want to add was armor stands to this bad place. So... Let's go ahead and head back over to Casa del Burgo. We're going to make a few sets of armor. I don't know really what kind of sets of armor we're going to do. I think we're going to use a little bit of variety. Maybe use some of the twilight materials that we have. Um, so you guys can see how that is made. Um, and obviously, I mean, we can use some of uh, the armors that we've made previously um, in episodes past. So let's go ahead and head back up to Casa del Burgo. Let's get a bunch of ingots, maybe some steel leaves. Oh, hello. He's still mad at me, guys. It's time! Yeah, enjoy the water, have a nice swim. You ain't doing the backstroke in that, brother. Not with that block of sand in your hand, anyway. Should be safe as long as we're in the water, so not too much of an issue with that guy. Uh, the Dark Tower's looking pristine today! But let's go ahead and head down to the storage area, guys. Let's go and pick up some jazz. Um, so we can use to get some armor. Now, I do have a Steel Leaf Helm on right now. Um, but I don't know. I'm not really digging that. Okay, metals! Um, let's go and check what we have in our backpacks right now. I haven't even gone through these much at all. Uh, we can put blocks on our person. Perfect. Okay, so let's look for any ironwood, um, steel leaf parts, um, any steel leaves in general, um, are always good. I think that is about it. Um, you do some more ironwood in here, some more steel leaves. Yeah, I think we do have an awful lot of stuff. Yeah, there's a ton of steel leaves, some more iron bark, or iron wood, I should say. I always call it iron bark for some reason. Um, some iron, that'll be useful. Um, 
yeah, I think that'll be, I think that'll be good enough. Okay, so let's head up to a crafting table, get a couple sets of armor made. I want to get at least five sets of armor made. Maybe we can even use some of this meteor armor up here, or living metal, possibly. Who really knows? But let's go ahead and go through this. Uh, now, these recipes are made exactly the same as traditional armor. So we do have pants and stuff here. It's just using a different material. So not, not really that big of an adjustment. Um... So yeah, but when you do craft this, it comes with um, natural protections and natural enchantments as opposed to when you find it without. So that is really, really cool. I like that a lot about it. Um, so let's go ahead and get some iron wood uh, crafted here. Obviously, it's going to be very similar um, to iron itself. Um, I'm just going to dump these blocks in here. Uh, that's from crafting earlier, but let's go ahead and get some of this stuff made. And then ironwood is kind of neat. It's just like it's got it's got green on it. It's got green symbols, etc. Um, and I think it actually is kind of my favorite because, as you guys know, I freaking love iron armor and iron materials and iron everything. I don't know why. It's just it's just something that clicked with me one day. I don't know. I don't understand it either, guys. But whatevs. Okay. So I've got three sets of armor here. That is a good place to start. Um, so yeah, I think we can. I think we can work with this for right now, unless we want to make some diamond armor, maybe some gold armor. Hmm. Um. Yeah. Let's grab some diamonds. Let's grab some diamonds. We'll make a set of diamond armor down there as well. That'll be our like VIP, um, our VIP target. Now, what I want to do with these sets of armor is have them set up in um in the tunnels of the mine shaft. Um, as part of the thieves den so when you're running through um, you're just like oh my gosh an enemy quick take shot you know that kind of goofy stuff I mean we want our tri thieves to be good at what they do right I mean thieves assassins whatever you want them to do um, they're gonna be absolute professionals at in in the best at it so let's go ahead and head down here we'll get that last suit of armor crafted really quick I think yeah we have a crafting table in here so let's go and get our armor stand set up. We'll free up a bit of inventory space just by doing that, so that's good. Um, oh, well, we should actually have more than enough inventory space. Let's make this diamond armor quick. Sorry I'm kind of jumping all over the place and doing stuff like that. It has been, like, obviously you guys know this, it has been a freaking long time since I've done an episode by myself. And I was actually really freaking nervous <laughs> to do it by myself. It's like I have no one to bounce like my commentary off of or whatever. But I think I think it's gonna be a good change. Um, I think Strife and I are gonna be doing more stuff in the future for sure. Um, but we're just taking a break right now, just getting our batteries refreshed. And I wanted to play a little bit of Solo Hexit because some of you guys have been asking for this uh, for a freaking long time. So I wanted to get it taken care of. So let's go and run through our mine shaft here. And let's get our dudes placed. Now, I kind of want to have a guy set up here. And this is going to be kind of our sneaky dude. So, I think I want to put the steel leaf on him. Because, I mean, to me, that kind of signifies a thief, you know? Just like, oh, you sneaky butthole. Whatever. You know. You know how it goes, guys. Oh, let's clear these spider webs. We don't want to get our initiates getting stuck in here for weeks without food being prey to, you know, the little spiders of the world. Um, okay. Hmm. I've done some digging around here because I, you know, how loot hungry I am. Um, let's put one right here. And, oh, no, get that back. Get that to me. Let's make this the iron armor one. I dig that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. It looks good. It's a good place to put it because of the sand. Uh, so you can actually see it. So I think that's good placement for the iron armor. We're going to send these guys through. They're going to be like, oh, <laughs> you know, these hotshot thieves thinking they're all that and stuff. Let's go and use these slabs. I want to make it look naturally artificial if you get if you catch my drift ooh, oh nothing like a little loot while you're playing some hexit I want to make it look I guess like I said before naturally artificial so I want it to look somewhat natural but I also want you to have the impression let's put the diamond armor on this one I want you to have the impression that you know this is a training course 
Yes, there's going to be some parkour, but at the same time, I want it to look like it's been intruded on. So let's use our living or our iron armor here. I'm getting all our names mixed up. Good grief. Yeah, that'll be good. So maybe we'll put someone through the ringer with this. Who knows? Oh, oh, that's why I can't get up. There's a freaking fence post in the way. Oh, yowch. Okay. All right. So we got that, and then we got the diamond armor. So these two are kind of a tag team here. We have one armor armor stand left. Where do we want to put this guy? This is going to be our VIP. He's going to be the guy in the golden armor. It's going to be our high priority, high value target. I'm going to leave him in the dark here. Because this, most of this gold armor is enchanted. We'll just go ahead and put my armor on there. I have no problem with that. Is that going to show up at all? Maybe I'll put like a torch way back here. Maybe. There we go. Is that going to glow if I don't have that on? No, it's not. Okay, we'll put that back there. Okay, that works. That works. I'm digging that. Okay. So now you want it to be kind of a shooting range. See, there's a pitfall. That is dangerous, my friends. It is freaking dangerous. So let's go ahead and head back to the headquarters here. If we can find our way back. I've gotten lost in these tunnels more than I'd like to admit, uh, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, see, I'm already lost now. <laughs> Dang it. There we go. I think this is right. Yeah, there's stairs here. Excellent. Okay, so now there's there are five armor stands just in this dungeon somewhere, just waiting for someone to knock them out with some arrows. Now, one thing we need to consider is what are we going to equip these guys with? Are we going to make them bring their own bows? Are we going to make them, you know, bring some stuff? I think what I want to do is let's head back to the, the storage rooms here real quick. Real, real quick, fast. Um, we'll get a couple chests set up. And we have an absolute ton of bows <laughs> just sitting in the storage room, not doing anything. I think we're going to set up like a rent-a-bow type thing. So if you don't have your own bow, I mean, it means you're a crappy thief. But at the same time, it's like, if you want to be part of the thief Guild, you got to pass initiation. Am I right? I'm right. Of course I am. So let's go ahead and grab a bunch of bows here. We have quite a few. Most of them are broken. Um, and I feel like that adds a bit to the challenge of things. Let's go ahead and grab that chest too. Nice. Um... Because that way, if you miss, I mean, you're just like, you're straight up out of luck, son. Like, I don't know. It's just, it's just interesting. So it's like, you got to make all your shots count. You don't want them to, you don't want them to miss their, their target, their mark, I guess you could say. That's what a lot of bounty hunters call it anyway. In Star Wars, they did anyway. I'm saying anyway a lot. I don't know what's going on. Hydra! Oh, yeah, yeah. Good memories, baby. What's up now, son? <laughs> All right. So let's head back down here. We'll get up our registration chest. Hmm. I'm trying to think because I want this to be the lobby because it looks really cool, in my opinion, anyway. It's really simple, but I like that it opens up naturally um, into this mine shaft. So let's just place our chest here. Let's get all of our bows in here. Let's get them kind of organized. Our iron bow, our reinforced bow, and then our standard bows, and then um, arrows like that. You have nine arrows, um, so you get like two shots on everything, but you do have to snipe one. <laughs> so yeah, I think that I think that's good. I think that's really good, actually. Oh! Oh my! Double sound effect of doom. Thunder and scary cave sounds. <laughs> I don't think anyone's going to be registering for our initial course. I don't think. Let's get our backpack out here so we can get, take a look at our building materials now. Is there anything else in here that we want to include, though? Like, huh. <laughs> this is tricky. I didn't think it would be this tricky. Let's go ahead and head back up. We'll let our brains ponder on this, because I want to get a bit of artwork on the walls in there, at the very least. So we'll go get some wool and some sticks. Pretty much have all the sticks we'll really need, though. But we do need some wool. I just want to decor it up, I guess, a little bit. Oh, man. What a crummy night. That's so sad here. Oh! Hmm. We'll let our brains think on it a little bit. 
Let's get some paintings up in there, though, at the very least. That's a pretty easy task to commit to, so... Oh, man. I've got the sniffles, guys. I don't know if you, <laughs> if you guys could tell. I've probably been sniffling quite a bit without me actually knowing about it, but... Oh, man, that's the worst. Um, let's get white wool since we have a ton of it. Um, yeah, so that'd be good. Let's head upstairs and get it crafted into some paintings. And then we can hang up our artwork as we see fit. All right. So I think it's like this. Yeah. Let's go and get that on there. Eight. Eight paintings will actually do quite well. That'll be good enough. Just let that cotton hang out. Just kidding. We don't want to get cotton mouth. Oh, ho, ho! good one. Right. Um, but yeah, guys, weather in Iowa, it's been a while since we've had a freaking weather report, good grief. You guys are probably like, oh my gosh, I think, I don't think Burgo goes outside anymore, he hasn't given us a weather report in ages. It's true, I haven't gone outside, but not because I don't know what the weather is like, it's because it's too freaking cold in Iowa. It's like negative 30 at all times. And when it's not negative 30, it's either pouring down freezing rain, or it's snowing. <laughs> so we're kind of a victim of that whole polar vortex theory um, that the hippies came up with, but whatever. Let's see what kind of painting we get here. Ooh, that's kind of scary. I like that. Put the fear of God in these new initiates. I'm digging that. Um, Obama the Creeper, not really digging that one. Ooh, I love those banners. I love that banner painting. Oh, my well, banner painting, you're coming down. This is indicating do not deal with the long-tongued creeper and don't have a better goatee than me. Good grief. Come on. Come on, Sfax. Let's get it together. Um, that would be cool. Except for the fact that none of those things are in here. What is that? Is that some kind of map? Because that looks like the Sipsco Dirt Factory a little bit. I'm not entirely sure. We're not going to deal with that. I don't think that's a Yogg's Cast reference, or at least I hope it's not. All right. Ooh, yeah, that looks good. Loot above all. I dig that one. That one's cool. We've got some big artworks in here. Let's get a smaller one over here. No, not that one, though. I don't want the jellified creeper. Okay, there we go. The map looks really good there. Especially if you aren't paying attention to what it actually is. <laughs> and we need one here, too. No, not Obama Creeper. Sheesh. Not that one. No, we already have one of those. Um. Oh, that was kind of an interesting one. Oh, yes. And an emphasis on combat, baby. Okay, so avoid creepers. Get all the loots, like a boss. The map of the area. And enhanced combat beat downery. Why does that creeper have a six pack? Gosh, what a beast. I hope I don't have to run into him sometime. Jeez. Sheesh Louise. Okay, guys. Well, I think that is good for now. We're getting a decent setup. I'm going to have a good think about what we want to add to this little lobby area. Remember, we have our bows and our paintings. And I would actually really, really, really like to get your guys' feedback. Because I'm having like a creative block right now. I don't know what to add to this. So let me know in the comments below for this video. And, um... And I'm going to review some of those. I'm going to write some of my favorites down. Um, and maybe we're going to figure out some way to tackle that. Yeah, I think that'll be good. So if you did enjoy this video, and I, man, I'm so freaking glad to be back. I know it wasn't the most exciting. Um, but I'm I'm just glad to be getting back into some solo hexateering um, and getting some crafting done. Because that adventure really took a lot out of me um, from a looting and just adventuring and recording standpoint. But for now, guys, if you did enjoy the video, be sure to hit that like button. And as always, if you're interested in subscribing and keeping up with my other series, because, I mean, why wouldn't you? Be sure to hit that subscribe button, guys. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.